Hello, in this video we're going to maximize a firm's profit and this profit function is a function of two goods. So find the profit maximizing units of good X and good Y. So here is a profit function for a firm. First thing we're going to do is get the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to X and that equals 32 minus 8X plus 4Y and we set that equal to zero and then we get the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to y. So 64y is 64 minus 2y squared becomes minus 4y and the partial derivative of 4xy is just 4x and set that equal to zero. So these first two partial derivatives are known as the first order conditions for maximizing this function. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take the first partial derivative and I'm going to solve it for x. So just moving 8x over and dividing through by 8. x equals 4 plus 1 half y. And then I'm going to do a similar thing for this partial derivative here of the profit function with respect to y. I will solve this equation right here. I'm going to solve it for x. So 4x equals 4y minus 64. And then divide through by 4. And I have another equation for x. So we've got two equations and two unknowns. I'm just going to set both of these equations, both of these x equations equal to one another. So setting x equal to x, we get this result here. And solving for y. I'll add 16 to both sides and we get this. And then I'll subtract one half y from both sides. So the left hand side will just become one half y dividing through by one half y equals 40 plugging this 40 into either of these two x equations we get x equals 24 to check if this is indeed a maximum we're going to look at the second order condition so I'll do that on the next slide so checking the second order conditions for a maximum so just rewriting our partial derivatives and then I'm going to get a cross partial derivative here. So if we take the uh, derivative of this first function here now with respect to y to get the cross partial derivative, we get 4. To get a maximum, we need the second partial derivatives to be negative. So taking the basically derivative of a derivative here, so taking the derivative of this equation here with respect to x we get minus 8 and then taking the second derivative of the partial derivative of y equation we get minus 4 so these two partial derivatives are negative and then one further thing we need to check in terms of the second order conditions to show that we're at a maximum is that the multiple of the two second partial derivatives which we have up here <clears throat> if we multiply them together it needs to be greater than the cross partial derivative squared. The cross partial derivative is 4, so if we square that, it's 16. So 32 is greater than 16. So we did verify that what we found in the previous slide is indeed the maximum of the profit function. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.